Watch out for Arlie Williams. And Ricky Flutie. the crowd that dominated that exchange. The England crowd doing their bit for the home team there. Let's just hope that they have an inspired New Zealand there. <laughs> it's Toby Flood who starts the match. Chased by Monu went forward off him. It's after his best game in the series against South Africa. And look at that shove on from the New Zealand pack. And it's New Zealand ball and it's Smith to Nonu. And surely New Zealand won't waste this chance. Muliaina will get in the corner for that try. Well, it's beautifully finished by the All Blacks three quarters, but put that one down to New Zealand's scrum. England, in a defensive scrum, shunted off the ball. What a time for a turnover. And watch Conrad Smith, the way he straightens the man, and Nonu's improvement. He doesn't get try-line fever. Brilliant scrum from New Zealand. Coward is beautiful ball there. Watch now. Straightens it up. Smith. Nonu waits. He's patient. Rokathoku two on one. It's lovely handling. It looks easy. It is easy, but New Zealand have done the basics well. That's good from Rokathoku. It's fantastic from Jimmy Cowan. More danger to the right here. Cowan. Cards are looking all around, time to readjust. Oh, it's plucked out of the air by Molly Aina. It's the second for him, it's the second for New Zealand, and we can now confidently say that they are on their way to victory here and a grand slam. Well, Martin, I don't know if it's the luck of genius or just a moment of sheer genius from Daniel Carter there. England now look tired. Jamie New can say we're as fit as the Southern Hemisphere. But with the points raining down against them, England suddenly look out on their feet. And horribly for England, competed for 58 minutes. The score is big. Carter now, he pulls them up, he waits. Uh, that is absolutely magnificent from Daniel Carter. What he's done there, he has just allowed England to be drawn in the dinkiest of flips. And Mulliainen knows it's coming. He's not been at his best, Carter. But just watch this, wait, wait, pull them on. Well, I still don't know if there's a slight hook in that, but that is the vision, the awareness. That's what makes a great player. Hands on, hands! All Blacks are winning this. Turnover ball, and it's Newman Weepers, scrum half, out to Mirlamu. Mirlamu looking at that straight line. He's picked out Rogothoko, he's picked out Nono. This is going to be an absolutely brilliant score, unless Croft can get there with you, can't. Nono gets it, and that is why New Zealand are the best side in the world this year. Uh, Kevin Mayalamu, that was brilliant. Mayalamu was part of a New Zealand scrum that pushed England off the ball for the key turnover. Now we've seen the other side of Mayalamu. Quite wonderful offloading skills from New Zealand and Nonu's tracking and support, wonderful. New Zealand win the contact, they win the turnover. Reid's involved, Rodney Soiala's involved. McCaw's there, it comes quick, but watch Kev Mayalamu now. This is the moment, brilliant from the hooker. The dummy, the check, the offload, the way, ah, oh, gorgeous from Rokothoko, and Nonu goes 60. It caps a wonderful 2008, where Ma Nonu's gone from bit part player to yes. world-class centre. Yeah, I, I, there will be headlines about England's four yellow...